Hello, I'm Mr. Reed with Franklin Technology Center. I'm an instructor in the Advanced Manufacturing Program here at our high school. Today's purpose of the video is to train our ROTC instructors and students on how to create name badges with their new machine. Warning, due to variables beyond my control, I am not responsible for damages to your machine or yourself. Please wear proper safety equipment. This is the table. This is the vise. This is the touch pendant. This is the emergency stop. And this is the spindle. As soon as we turn on our machine, the first order of business is to home the machine, which means we're going to set it to zero, zero. This is the x-axis and this is the y-axis. The machine needs to know that this is zero, zero. Once our machine is homed, we're ready to set up our z-axis. This machine doesn't know where the vice is, and technically it doesn't know where the table is. If we do not set the Z correctly, this spindle will come down and try and cut through the vice or the table. This is very important, and we cannot skip this step. After homing the machine, the machine knows where the X and Y coordinates are located. There is a third coordinate that we must find. It is known as Z. If we do not find the Z axis as home, or zero point, you can cause critical damage to your machine and injury to yourself. The Z axis is attached to the spindle. The spindle is controlled by the machine and it moves up and down. If we do not Z out correctly and tell it that the top of this vise is zero, it can potentially crash through the vise and into your machine. It can also crash into the table, so setting this up is crucial. In order to set up your machine, the similar as the way we have ours here, the best solution would be to measure from this edge in a quarter of an inch and scribe a line across the jaws of the vise. We have done this so that our nameplate will fit in there correctly. As you can see here, the prongs on the back will not fit in the vise unless it's offset slightly. That is the point of our line. I'm going to set this one that is already done in the vise, tighten it up, raise it so that I can fit it on the jaws, and then align it with that line and then tighten it down as snug as I can get it. For this next step, we will need a piece of paper. A piece of paper is just used as a spacer between the actual bit that will be engraving and the material. Right down here in the lower left hand of the touch pendant, there's a joystick looking icon you need to push that icon. With this window now opened after we have selected the joystick, you can see that the machine shows X at zero, Y at zero, and Z at zero. These zeros are telling you the position of the machine. If I jog down the Z, which happens to be these controls right here, 
you can notice that the numbers do change in the negative direction because it is moving downward. As I move it up, it goes in the positive direction. Okay? This yellow button right here with the line underneath it, once we have touched the top of our material, you will push that to set the Z back to zero. Put your settings on fast. Move your axes, X and Y, until you are over the top of your nameplate. Once you are there, change it to slow and begin to jog down your Z axis. Once you're close, you need to get your piece of paper. Your piece of paper will go between the badge and the spindle. Now we're going to be making such small movements that we won't be able to see it most likely with our eyes. So the paper acts as a stop. So I'm going to wiggle the paper forward and backwards as I continue to ja jog down the Z axis. Once it gets close, you want to make sure that you slow down and you're still wiggling it and moving around as you're trying to bring it down. You should start to feel it rubbing as you're going down. Right now I'm rubbing. I'm going to jog it a little more, a little more. I'm still rubbing. Almost there. Oh, not quite. I can still move it, but that's pretty close right there. I can't move it anymore. It's going to start cutting the paper. So you'll push this icon right here, which will typically be yellow if you've done this for the first time. Once you push that button, it will set your height surface and then you hit the green check mark and the machine will return home. At this point, the machine should be all set up and ready to go to cut a badge. In this training video, I will not be showing you how to install the um, engraving tool that you'll be using. Uh, the machine comes with a variety of different tools. Um, I do recommend that you use the V pointed one as a flat on one side. That's the best for making uh, these particular type of badges. But due to um, some setups, your machine may be different. There are several videos out there to watch um, on how to install the, the tip. In this training video, we will not be showing you how to set up the engraving tool. The reason for this is that there are several videos out there online um, and their ways differ. The micrometer uh, for this particular setup, we don't really use it. Um, the way I'm going to show you in this video, we will touch off on the surface and we're not using the bottom plate. So the micrometer that adjusts on here doesn't really work for this setup. Okay. In your program, you'll open the attached file. And this is how simple the program should be. Double click on the name, come over here to text, change the name to whatever you would like. Caps lock on, R-E-E-D for read. Come up here and click OK. It will show your toolpath and everything. And now we are ready to cut. I'm going to select everything that I'd like to cut. I'm going to click on the engraver file. It's going to ask me if I want to cut the invisible lines that are present. I'm going to say no. Then the only thing you should have left is the name. You need to make sure that these uh, proximity settings here are off. There should be an X through them. Right there, they're on. I want them to be off. If you do not have them off, the machine will come down and go through the vise and into the table. We're going to tell it to engrave. Over here. 
you will now see that there is a green play button on the machine and we want to run that name plate switch this out for a fresh one here that up all right now we're ready to go when I hit the start play button you want to keep your hand over the e-stop the emergency stop so you can shut off if anything goes wrong Right there, your nameplate is finished, but I do recommend that you do run it a second time because it does not like to cut very cleanly. Engrave, wait for it to come up again. There it is, hit go, hand over the e-stop. go. It does help sometimes to have a toothbrush or something to uh, scrub the little bitty chips out of it. Um, but uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.